took just want to take a quick video of that 2016 forerunner you're checking out online so i got it started up here got it a little opened up and uh jump right in it for you so the trd wheels the matte black finish really nice bridgestone tires perfect tread on them and i walked around the whole thing the only little tiny blemishes i can find around the whole car it looks like there's just little chips here and there some different spots but it's been filled in uh, with paint obviously and on this side this is probably the one that i noticed big time there's just like a little scratch and they filled that in and a few more little spots there but other than that i couldn't find any dense things real scratches there's a couple more little chips on the hood they're real real tiny but they filled them in No, other than that, I thought it looked like it was pretty solid. The interior is really nice, and I'll show you that here in a second. Sorry about the mud. Got the mud flaps, fixed running boards. I love that sand color. Good choice on that. <laughs> you almost can't tell, but tires on here are good you got the rear mud flaps towing package you have all the cargo tie downs in here little storage pockets up on the right hand side i guess this is a cover plate for a box of tissues then you got the 110 wall outlet with a 12 volt power outlet back here back up camera lens sticker there so 61,000 miles most of that's uh, the standard and some of the optional equipment on the 4Runner but <coughs> I'm sure you're more than familiar with them like I said the inside is really really nice back seat doesn't look like it was hardly ever sat in if at all Two more 12 volt power outlets with the air, rear air convents, all weather floor liners. Definitely a non smoker vehicle. So, you have power windows, power door locks, uh, lock, uh, window locks, and then the, the control power for the different outlets that power into the back, rear wiper blade. Up in here, you got power seats with lumbar support. And the seats are in great shape. Up in here, real quick. I got the butt warmers on, so I'll find out if those work. In just a second here. So you got 61, 125. Let's go ahead and cycle through some of the DIC here. Oh, whoops, that's for that. Oh, I thought this controlled that, but I guess I'm wrong. <laughs> so you have your different trips. This does have the navigation. So there's a nav screen on that. And you have traffic control and weather. Uh, that's, from my knowledge, that's powered through XM service. So I'd have to double check and see if that's actually included. Seat warmers do work, by the way. You have your manual 4x4 shifter. Power shade and the air power window in the back. You have the sport mode so you can manually shift up and down. USB and AUX port down here. Another 12 volt power outlet. Jeez, this thing has total power that's all over the place. Digital readout for your clock up there. Home link, so if you have a garage door opener down the road, you can program up to three doors on that. And you have uh, the transaxle speeds and the drivetrain selector. Bluetooth hands recalling, calling, cruise control, all that good stuff. But I just wanna get you as close of a look as possible as I can. 
If you have any questions, if I missed anything that you want to see, just let me know. I'll get you some extra pictures and all that good stuff. And hopefully look forward to working something out for you.